Hey, welcome back to Skinny Scouter. Today we're going to be taking a look at a new series and dart type from Nerf. Let's get started. So within the last month, Nerf has announced and released a new series of blasters that use a new dart type, and it's called the N1 dart. The actual series is N series, and today I have three blasters I'm going to be showing you. I have the Ward, the Agility, and the Pinpoint. But before we look at the blasters, let's go ahead and take a further in-depth look at the darts. Now, we have a pack of darts here. I already broke one of them open for you to see. Now, here's the dart itself, and here's an Elite 2.0 dart for comparison. As you can see, it's definitely shorter, has a solid rubber tip, it weighs more, and it's thicker. It's also got this little nub at the back, which is what engages the air restrictors on the blasters. So let's go ahead and take a look at some of the blasters. Now, starting off with the smallest one, the N-Series Ward. Now, this is a two-shot front-loading blaster, and it retails for $4.99. Included in the package is the blaster and two darts. Up top, we have a tactical rail for you to mount accessories, and at the back, we have this massive loop-style priming handle. Now, down at the grip, the grip is kind of unconventional, and it's kind of weird because it gets smaller towards the bottom, um, and that leads to kind of a weird feeling grip. That is all for the ward. Now moving on to the N-Series Agility. Included is the blaster and 12 darts. It should be noted that the darts are just loose in the box. Kind of strange that they didn't package them in something else to protect them. So taking a look at the blaster, this is a six shot revolver style top prime blaster, very similar to the Nerf Disruptor, Strong Arm, or Maverick. Load, put your darts in the front of the cylinder, rotating it as you go. To prime, pull back, let go, and to fire, you pull the trigger. This blaster does not have slam fire. Taking a look at some of the other features on this blaster, on the bottom there's a tactical rail. That is the only tactical rail on the blaster. At the back we have this handle style kind of thing that um, I guess could help you when priming it. Um, I don't seem to use it. It does pivot all the way around. I'm not really sure why they did that. Uh, the grip is pretty comfortable. It's definitely better than the Ward, and um, it's in line with a Disruptor grip or a strong arm. So was the agility. Now on to the N-Series Pinpoint. Included in the box is the blaster, detached barrel, magazine, instructions, and darts. So starting at the front, we have two N-Strike tactical rails. Behind that, we have the bolt. It should be noted that the bolt does not need to be in the rearward position to insert the magazine. Behind that, we have the magazine well with a paddle-style magazine release. And behind that, we have the trigger and grip. The grip is fairly standard, and the trigger pull is what you'd expect. And up top, we have a non-removable scope. Now, Nerf guns tend to have shorter stocks than actual firearms. The same is the case with this, although this one is a little bit longer than the par of what Nerf usually produces. It is the pinpoint. Now let's see all three blasters firing. Starting off with the ward. How the agility and finally the pinpoint. Okay, so as you can see, these blasters do fire pretty far, more than normal Elite blasters, um, around rival range, maybe a little bit less, um, but they are not very accurate. The darts tend to spiral out of control, um, possibly even worse than Elite darts. The big question is, is should you consider buying any of these blasters? Now, keep in mind there are more blasters in this line than what I'm showing you. I think there's like four or five more um, at the time of filming. And to answer honestly, no, I would not recommend you pick up any of the blasters in this line um, just because they're clones of blasters that we already have that can use darts that you already have where these darts, you have to buy new darts, you have to buy new blasters, and the darts are expensive. Um, 
if you are interested in just trying one of these blasters just to try out the new dart, definitely go for the Ward. It's only five bucks um, and it comes with two darts. It shoots pretty far um, and it, it gives you kind of a taste of what the N series line is about. But I am definitely curious if Nerf is going to continue making these blasters and continue using the new N1 dart or if they're going to change to something completely new and different. But that's all I have for you fine folks today. Thank you so much for watching. Go ahead and leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you want to see more. And I'll see you guys soon. Take care. Bye for now.